This part of the video deals with configuring the two routers so that they can ping to each other. Fire up the GNS3. Mention the name uh, of the project as two routers. It will automatically take the project directory path which we have already uh, specified in settings of GNS3. Click on save NVRAMs including ether switch VLANs and crypto keys. Click OK. Place the two routers. Drag and drop the first router R1. Drag and drop the second router. It will be labeled as R2. Join both of them. Click on this. Uh, add a link icon. When you click on this R1, it shows that the R1 has two interfaces uh, F0 slash 0 and F0 slash 1. Both are available, that is why they are showing in red color. Click any of them. Similarly, click on the router R2. Here also this uh, router R2 also has two uh, interfaces, fast ethernet links, so click any of them, let it be F0 slash 0. Allow Dynamips to communicate on these networks, click on allow access. Click on this, uh, because it is still asking to add more links. I'll click it again so it don't ask anything further. Now to label this uh, network, let me specify a note. Click on this add a note icon and write that I'm going to use 10.0.0.0 slash 24. Slash 24 means the subnet mass will be 255.255.255.0 and since uh, my network name is 10.0.0.0 let me choose the IP address for router R1 as 10.0.0.1 similarly for R2 let me choose the uh, IP address as 10.0.0.2 I can also find the interface uh, interfaces names if I click on this show hide interface labels it will show that this interface is F0 slash 0 and this interface name is F0 slash 0 I can drag and drop these interface labels This is just a diagram or network topology to actually uh, provide these IP addresses or to actually assign these IP addresses to these routers. I need to run these, start these routers. They will become green. They will become uh, green from. Uh, they will go. Uh, they will change from red to green in the topology summary bar uh, pane. Click on start. This will start all the. Here I don't need. Uh, here I do not require to find the idle PC value because the idle PC value have been embedded in this iOS uh, iOS file. And any routers that I uh, place of this model 3725, the idle PC value will be applied to them automatically since I've already calculated once to start the routers click on this start button the first router is on the second router is also on now to configure I have to get some console for that I need to click on this start console
there was some error yeah, the putty has stopped working so my router 2 has not come so what I need to do is I need to close this and try to open it again console connect to all devices this is the console for my router 1 this is the console for my router 2 to provide this here at the top it shows that it is using super putty as a terminal this is for R1 this is for R2 to configure R1 to assign it an IP address of 10.0.0.1 and subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 I need to go to R1 run this command enable en then I press the tab key this will complete my command enable next I need to fire up the second command config press the tab key to complete it sorry config press the tab key it becomes configure then T then tab key to auto complete so the command becomes configure terminal right now what I can see is let me show you one more thing if I have to find that how many interfaces are on this uh, router R1 and what is the current status what is the IP address assigned and whether they are running or are they up or no so I can fire up this command show IP interface brief it shows that R1 router has two interfaces fast ethernet 0 slash 0 which is f0 slash 0 which is currently which don't have any IP address so far and this is down the status is status is down for the another fast ethernet 0 slash 1 this also does not have any IP address and this is also down so we need to provide these interfaces IP addresses and to make these interfaces up For this I have to go to the configuration mode, config, terminal, now the uh, command prompt for this has changed to R1 bracket config bracket close. To provide uh, the IP address to interface F0 slash 0, I have to go into this interface also to switch to this interface I have to type interface f0 slash 0 to provide it an IP address I'll mention IP address 10.0.0.1 and then the subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 now if I check the IP address of this router R1. Since I mean I'm in config mode, I can not type show IP interface brief command here. To run this command from this config mode, I need to prefix it with do. Do show IP in this. Do show IP interface brief now I see that this interface has been assigned this IP address but still it is in down status I need to up this interface for this I have to type this command no shut down this will make the interface F 0 slash 0 up C 
see here it shows change state to up changed state to up that means the status uh, the status have been changed from down to up end or exit we can type end or control z to come out of this config mode now if i see the ip address show ip interface brief it will show that this interface f0/0 has been assigned this ip address and it is up and running similarly for this r2 also we have to configure the ip address for that go to r2 type the command enable config terminal go to that interface interface f0/0 ip address 10.0.0.2255.255.255.0 no shut so that this interface can be brought up now, now the state of this interface has, has been changed to up and now if we see the show the if we see the IP address using show IP interface brief it will show that the IP address of this uh, router R2 been assigned the been assign this IP address 10.0.0.2 and it is up so we can ping the router R1 from here that means from R2 we can from R2 we can ping this R1 let's say this thing ping 10.0.0.1 here the success rate is 80% 4 out of 5 run this command again and it will give you 100% 100% Five, or 5 out of 5 similarly to ping from R1 to from R1 to R2 I need to do I need to go to this R1 I need to click on R1 and run this command ping 10.0.0.2 enter here it shows that the success rate is 100% or 5 out of 5 that means both the routers are communicating with each other right now we have created this diagram and we have also configured the IP addresses to both the routers and if we save this project then it will only save the save this diagram network diagram but it will not save the configuration to save this configuration so that when we will open this project again and we want the settings or configuration to be retained then what we can do is right now this is uh, I've configured so this is known as running configuration and when a router starts that the settings at that time are known as startup configuration so what I need to do is I need to 
copy the running configuration into startup configuration so that when gen when we will open the uh, project in gns3 uh, second time the startup uh, settings will be there and uh, they will be same like this for this we, we can um, first let me show you one more thing show start startup config for this router r1 we see here that the show show startup config it sh shows that the hostname is r1 and it does not show any IP address so this is known as this much this is known as startup configuration so what I need to do is I need to populate the current configuration settings into this startup configuration settings and let me also check the running uh, configuration which we can check using show running configuration enter it shows that the hostname is r1 this was the command show running configuration this was a hostname it will also show you the IP address for the interfaces it is asking for more so press the spacebar here it shows that for the interface f0 0 the IP address is this thing for the interface pass ethernet 0 slash 1 no IP address has been assigned and currently it is in shutdown status so we need to copy the running configuration into startup configuration press enter copy runs start here it will ask the de destination file name it is I just need to press ok enter now the settings for r1 router have been saved similarly I need to run here also copy run space start enter the r2 settings have also been saved now if i want to check the startup configuration of this router r1 i can check this with show start it shows that the hostname is r1 and the interface fast ethernet 0 slash 0 has this ip address and the interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 has no IP address and currently it is in shutdown status so I need to now I can close this terminal window stop and uh, save this configuration and stop the routers and close this window